Robert Kraft, the New England Patriots owner, caught up in a sex sting in South Florida, is speaking out today. The billionaire is apologizing in a new statement, saying this, quote, I am truly sorry. I know I have hurt and disappointed my family, my close friends, my coworkers, our fans, and many others who rightfully hold me to a higher standard. Kraft is charged with two misdemeanor counts of soliciting prostitution, but sources tell CNN that Kraft will not accept a plea deal offered by prosecutors. CNN's Polo Sandoval is standing by with more details on this polo. What else is Kraft saying today? Fred, this statement is significant. I'll tell you why. This is the first time that we're hearing publicly from the Patriots owner since the announcement by Florida prosecutors that they would be pressing these charges against not only Kraft, but at least 100 other so-called Johns. I'll read you uh, more of that statement here where Kraft essentially apologizes. He writes, throughout my life, I have always tried to do the right thing. The last thing I would ever want to do is disrespect another human being. I have extraordinary respect for women. My morals and my soul were shaped by the most wonderful woman, the love of my life, who I was blessed to have as my partner for 50 years. Mr. Kraft referring to his late wife there. Uh, what is interesting here, obviously, is that this is coming a week after his attorneys announced uh, that they would seek to a protective order that would essentially block the release of the surveillance videos that police are considering evidence in this case. And this is also happening as a source close to this investigation announces that Kraft does not intend to take up prosecutors on their offer to dismiss the, mis the misdemeanor charges in exchange for his admission that uh, he would have been convicted, had this case gone to trial, as well as uh, various other consequences like a fine and community service. So one thing that we did notice in that statement, the very last part of the statement that was released was he also writes that as he moves forward, uh, essentially, that he would like to use this platform to try to make a difference. So we'll have to see exactly what more he could possibly mean by that, uh, if there could be a possible reconsideration of that plea deal. But at this point, of course, nothing has changed there. And finally, we should note the timing of this is fairly interesting. On a Saturday afternoon on a very busy news weekend.